Yes, was it battery or just simply roughhousing? That is the question here at Damien High School today after their game against Bishop Amat. I can tell you that I looked at the video. It's not conclusive with what I was able to see. However, I can tell you this, that it was conduct unbecoming. Where, as you can see, it became a, a pretty wild scene. It all started last Friday night at the game between Bishop Amant and Damien High School at Damien's Field in Laverne. According to the player's father, Jesse Ramos, his 19-year-old son, Aiden, was roughed up after the game when opposing players traditionally line up to shake each other's hands. You can see the ruckus in this video shot by Fred Robledo of the Southern California News Group. Ramos and his son alleged that Aiden was assaulted by two Damien football coaches. Aiden filed a complaint with the Laverne Police Department, which told us they are investigating. With all these fans in attendance, there may be more video out there. Robledo told me that there are bad feelings between these two teams going back to last year, and there's plenty of blame to go around. You know, one of the football coaches from Bishop Amat, uh, Steve Haggerty, just decided not to shake hands. Uh, with Damien coach Matt Bechtel. And that goes back to a year ago when he accused coach Bechtel of, of not reaching out his hand or slapping it away. And then what you see on video uh, after that is me starting to roll it. And there's a lot of shoving and pushing. In a statement, the LA Archdiocese said that it's working with both high schools and fully cooperating with the police department as the matter is being investigated. In fact, Robledo told me that the Archdiocese went straight to work on the situation today. I talked to Jesse Ramos, the player's father, on the phone today. Neither he nor his son would appear on camera. He says his son, Aiden, a running back, was offered numerous football scholarships and is committed to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. He says Aiden has high moral values. Nonetheless, Robledo says that he's covered high school sports for years, and he says that there is no way for students to behave this way, especially at Catholic high schools. Part of their mission statement is to be above all that, and, and it's about character. Um, it's, a, it's about sportsmanship and setting the right examples. And I, I think anyone who looks at this situation is going to say they, you know, both teams um, let their schools down on that night. I spoke with the police department. They would not tell me if there was an additional video out there. Certainly, they will be pouring over all evidence. The Archdiocese was meeting today at 3 o'clock with both of the schools. As we get more information, we'll report it. Laura Diaz sending it back to the studio. Christine and Alex.